the big homie, Terrence Howard, says he only made $12,000 from Hustle and Flow. Put up his picture for a mask. How, Sway? How? Hustle and Flow, okay? Very popular movie. Terrence Howard revealed in a recent interview that he only made $12,000 for the 2005 blockbuster hit Hustle and Flow, despite the film making $22 million, according to the box office. Howard was nominated for an Academy Award for his performance as DJ, a pimp and aspiring rapper living in Memphis, Tennessee, man. The well-known actor opened up about his pay while appearing on WREG News Channel 3 during an interview that aired on November 7th. Hustle and Flow also stars um, my wife in fantasy land <laughs> <laughs> to Roger P. Henson, Anthony Anderson, and Manning. When asked if he knew that the film would be so transformative when he was making the movie, Howard said he did not, while noting that he was only paid $12,000. He's the main actor, main guy. Uh, the 54 year old entertainer also revealed that uh, Paramount credited his character DJ uh, with the performance titles instead of the actor, resulting in Howard not getting his due for performing the music in the film. Okay, so he does the music for the film, so you have a soundtrack. They credited the character rather than him. Uh, and so he claims he didn't get that money either. Quote, no, check this out. He said, I made $12,000 for doing Hustle and Flow. And then on top of it, what Paramount did, instead of putting my name as Terrence Howard performing the songs, they put performed by DJ. Well, they own DJ. So guess what? The performance royalties went to Paramount. Howard explained that the uh, that he was struggling to pay his rent at the time when he took the role, but he planned to sue the movie studio and send a letter stating that he is owed about 20 years worth of residuals and performance royalties. Not only did Howard say he received low pay for Hustle and Flow, he also claimed he was only paid a few thousand for another critically acclaimed film he starred in, Crash. Remember Crash? Mm -hmm. All right. He made $6,000 What doing Crash. He added, noting that actors aren't always paid enough for their work and referencing the recent Screen Actors Guild strike. The business don't pay actors anything. That's why the strike is going on. Actors are struggling. Uh, the SAG strike ended on November 9th after the studios agreed to pay actors residual payments from streaming services. So um, journalist, Alex Coleman didn't miss a beat when he replied, quote, it's hard out here for a pimp. Uh, the name of the track, the title track of the hit film. Uh, the Three Six Mafia song won the Academy Award for best original song. Yeah, yeah, it is hard unless you do it right, said Howard. And I've never been good at being a pimp. In an effort to help other actors and entertainers get bookings, Howard discussed the app My Holly, which he and his wife, uh, Mira, Myra, excuse me, Howard created that allows users to audition for roles right from the app. Fans reacted to the news with shock, including one who replied $12,000. It's literally a hard out here for a pimp, end quote. Uh, two others said bro acted his soul out and made $2 and $12,000 and $6,000 for some cultural classics and saying. One individual noted the entertainment industry often does not pay certain actors their due. Um, the Lucius Lion, I knew, would have gotten his money uh, one way or another. They wrote reference to Howard's role as the ruthless record mogul in the Fox series Empire. One final commenter said he lost his Iron Man job because he asked to get paid too. Hollywood isn't fair at all, especially mm. to actors like Terrence Howard. Um, so the best man star played Colonel James Rhodes in the 2008 Marvel movie Iron Man and received 4.5 million for his role. Despite claims he signed a three movie deal, Howard was replaced by the second uh, by the second film with actor Don Cheadle. Uh, he later alleged that he, he was actually pushed out of the film series and received no help from his friend, uh, the film's lead actor, 
Robert Downey Jr. Um, let's go back to these numbers. Francesca, I'm not in Hollywood. You, you are closer <laughs> to Hollywood than I will ever be. Um, I need this to make sense. How do you do, and I know it's difficult to do a movie. You gotta learn the script, you have to do the scenes, you gotta shoot within a certain time frame, you have to work hard. $6,000 and $12,000, not for movies no one knows about, but for movies that clearly made millions and are loved by many. Help me understand this. I mean, look, I I don't know whether to believe Terrence Howard, meaning I, I believe that he was paid that. I just don't know what why, meaning, you know, what did his managers tell him? What kind of cuts did they take? What about his agents, right? There is a 10% cut from your from your agent. There's another okay. 10% cut from your manager. So there are fees here that there could fees. have been calculated away from him. Sure. But but still, I don't think they're openly taking like 20 or 30. They're gonna still take 10, which is still not enough for those movies. It right. means his day rate. It must have been like five hundred dollars, if that, right? And that that was all he got, which is super low. I'm glad he's speaking out about it. I'm glad we need to hear more stories like this. And yeah. it is true that SAG, look, they haven't voted for this for the new contract yet, but but trust when like. Of course, Robert Downey Jr. didn't help him. Of course, other actors don't help him. And of course, I believe the one thing I super believe is that Paramount put those songs in his character's name. Ergo, they got mm -hmm. all the royalties. That one hundred percent makes sense to me. So sad. I mean, because it's it's like okay, we want to enjoy and support actors uh, and movies that are iconic like this. I mean, I mean, the man played the role yeah. to. I mean, just the ultimate, right? But then we realize supporting the movie literally supports the usury yeah. uh, involved uh, in Hollywood. And so I definitely would like to see more information. Um, we support you, dear brother. Uh, you are welcome to come to the bullpen anytime.